Hello everyone. Today I want to continue on with my April movie marathon, watching 18 films new to the Criterion Channel, April 2021. Today I want to talk about a film called Burn, also known as Kimata. Uh, it's a 1969 film directed by Gio Pontecorvo, I think is how you pronounce his name, <clears throat> and it is stars Marlon Brando. Uh, Marlon Brando. Uh, and there's two versions of this film. There's a American English language version, which was the one I saw, which is a little bit less than two hours. Then there was a 20 minute longer version, European version, um, that was dubbed into Italian. Um, Marlon Brando plays a character called William Walker. There was a real life William Walker who engaged in similar activities as the character played by Marlon Brando. But he, this is a fic totally fictionalized character. Kimata itself is a um, fictionalized island in the Antilles. Uh, Walker, and this is in the 1800s. Uh, Walker comes to, um, <clears throat> in, the, uh, in the guise of a sugar trader, he's really uh, representing uh, the sugar plantation owners on the island that want to get rid of the Portuguese government and establish local autonomy. So in order to do that, he, uh, Brando, William Walker, uh, foments a revolution, and to lead that revolution, he picks up a, the uh, a man who is uh, at the train station when Walker arrives and picks up his bag. Brando sees something in him, and he decides to make him the leader of this revolution. <clears throat> and this actor is called uh, Ibaristo Marquez, and in real life, he was actually a illiterate herdsman that Ponte Corvo uh, discovered and cast in the movie as uh, Jose Dolores, the, the, uh, the instigator, the leader, the president of the revolution. He made a couple more movies and then went back to being a herdsman. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Brando, William Walker, successful with this venture, uh, the revolution is is uh, put down in a in a compromise uh, where slavery was ended, freedom comes, uh, and the plantation owners uh, have autonomy, uh, autonomous rule on this island of Kimata. Then ten years go by. Uh, Jose Dolores has discovered that freedom isn't worth very much. It's not much better than slavery. So he, there's another revolution, and William Walker is brought back to the island to um, again put down a revolution uh, by his uh, protege <clears throat> and um, now serving the interest of the English government uh, and uh, to try to take over the island and, um, and have it become under English rule. Um, it's a fantastic production. It's really beautiful. With a, and this is on the Crit Criterion Channel on the Ennio Morricone Ennio Morricone uh, section of 22 films is a beautiful, uh, really rousing uh, um, uh, score by Morricone. And, <clears throat> but I, I have to express my uh, great disappointment in the, uh, in the uh, picture quality of the, um, the edition that, uh, the version of the film that Criterion is streaming. It's it's really bad. I mean, it's it's uh, fuzzy. It's it's a, a movie in dire need of restoration. They are they are showing the abbreviated uh, less. Than, I think it's a hundred and uh, hour and fifty two minutes, something like that. The version, the English language version, which you can almost forgive because if you watch the Italian version, that's longer. Of course, you're not going to get Marlon Brando's voice. He's dubbed into Italian. And in that version, um, but the picture quality is just, uh, it's really atrocious. I'm not a big picture quality guy, I'm more uh, content over picture quality, but I do like, I do appreciate very much the uh, picture quality that we get on blu rays and you get so used to it when you see one that is, that is so inferior. So that, this is an important film. Monte Corvo had made a film called The Battle of Algiers, and, which was a huge success. I think he was nominated, uh, the film was nominated for uh, Best Foreign Film uh, in its year, a couple years before this. Um, of course, he didn't get along good with uh, Brando, but nobody did, but uh, very few directors ever got along with Marlon Brando. But um, 
It's an important film in Bruno Brando's career from 61 to 71, the years before The Godfather. He made, Brando made about 13 movies. Some of them are really interesting, and they've sort of, including this one, Flexions and Golden Eye, The Nightcomers. Uh, and it's an odd performance by Brando. This accent is, uh, is, is uh, it's all over the place, and it, but it's funny. And But nevertheless, he has really moments of power in there. Whole production values of this film are, are amazing, so it's uh, definitely a film that's uh, that's need a restoration uh, for. And of course, you also get any movie made in 1969 need inevitable uh, uh, comparisons to the war in Vietnam uh, become uh, uh, you know up front, up center, uh, and, and Brando Brando's of course is. Uh, his uh, own politics uh, are very much in line with this movie. So um, a disappointment as far as picture quality um, and uh, a plea, uh, you know, maybe there's a restoration somewhere in the, in the world of, of this film. I, I would love to see a version, that uh, a Blu-ray version that would come out with both, uh, both prints, maybe both, both the Italian and the English language uh, prints, and someday hopefully that'll that, that will happen, you never know. Um, uh, so uh, anybody who stuck with me through to the end of these brief comments, uh, I really appreciate it. And subscribe, like, comment if you've ever seen this film. I saw it when it was originally released and I was very, very much impressed. And the movie got excellent reviews. It was not a poorly reviewed mo movie at all. Uh, so again, hopefully we'll get a much better restoration. And other than that, you guys take care. I'll catch you later.